Today's video is on using the D10 TV and I'm going to just focus on the whiteboard feature. So I'm going to be doing a few of these videos just showing one feature at a time. I do have one overall video that kind of goes through every single feature but it's also almost 30 minutes long and to save you from having to watch that whole video or trying to find your spot in that video I just want to show a couple quick things depending on which feature you want to use you can go right to that video just to see that feature so today I'm gonna to just take a few minutes to show you the whiteboard feature when you're on your screen there's two ways to use your whiteboard you can use it as a straight whiteboard meaning you're not going to be in a Zoom like you have a classroom sitting in the room with you and you want to do anything like that. You can just use the whiteboard feature and off you go. So on your D10, you can just tap the whiteboard icon. And now you're in on your whiteboard. You've got a bunch of features across the bottom here. You've got your color feature, so you can change the color that it draws. Just kind of nice gives you all those different pretty colors. If you want to delete everything that's on the screen all at once, you'll see the little trash can icon, and if you tap that, everything will disappear. If you just want to undo one thing at a time, you'll see this little backwards arrow, and that will undo your last motion that you did on the board. So you'll see one at a time, it undoes those strokes that I made. Last of the eraser features is an actual just eraser. So you have the trash can, which is erases everything on the screen. You've got the undo button, which is that little backwards arrow that will take away the last thing you did. Or you have the eraser feature. When you tap on that, you can use your finger as an actual eraser and erase what's on the screen. So you've got three options for erasing. The next thing you have is the little pen with the curly line tool. If you tap on that, you've got two choices, or not two choices, but you've got a couple of choices here. The first is you can change your thickness. So you can go really thin. If I change that up to the next one, it's a little bit thicker. If I do the third one, it's quite a bit thicker. And if I do the fourth one, it's a lot thicker. So it gives you four different choices of thickness. And again, if I want to undo one at a time, or if I just want to delete everything on the screen, I hit the trash can icon. The other thing you have with this is called the shape tool. What that will do is when you draw a shape, it will snap it to a more proper looking shape, especially if you're not really good at drawing circles or anything like that. So if I try to draw a circle, you saw that it snapped it, and my circle wasn't very good to begin with. It also used the thickness. So if I click on that and I change the line thickness, and now I do a triangle, it will snap it to a triangle using the thickness that you had set. Now, when you're doing the snap to shape, you've got to keep your finger or the pen tool down. When you lift it up, it will stop it. So let's say, let me delete everything on the screen here. Let's say I'm going to do a triangle. It won't snap it to shape. But what you saw is it snapped one of the lines to a straight line. You have to leave your finger or pen on the board constantly to get that shape to take. You can also do like straight lines, and you'll see it'll snap it. So it'll snap lines like that depending as you go. You can do those things. You can also add additional screens. You'll see you've got some icons down here in the bottom left corner. So you can do the night mode, you'll see the little moon. It'll change the board from light to dark just by tapping on that. So if I have the blue pen, you'll see it snaps it. I'm going to turn that off. So it gives you just a neat option for a different background. And the nice thing is normally that one all the way to the left was black when you were on the white background. When you're on the black background, it changes it to white. So we're going to delete everything on the screen. So you just tap the little moon looking icon down here on the bottom left to jump between those two things. The next one is you'll see this little kind of square icon with a plus icon in the top right corner. That will add additional screens. And you'll see now there's a little two right there. And now I can select between those two or I can tap the X to close out of that. I can add as many as I want. So you'll see if I do a drawing and then hit the plus 
it empties out. Then if I tap on how many screens you have, that little multiple screens icon down next to it, I can now choose which screen I want to switch to. I can also hit the edit button right here, and I can X out to close the ones I don't want. So let's say I just want the two I drew on. I could close out all the ones I didn't, and then I can tap on one of these to jump to it. The only weird little quirk is when you tap on it, you'll see the little pen actually drew on it, so you could just do that undo last action and that'll get rid of it. That's just one of the little quirks with it. Other than that, it works really, really nicely. And then if you want to close them all out, whoop, hit the edit button, and then if you want to close them all out, it'll take you right back to your main screen. You also have the save button. So let's say you did a bunch of notations and you want to save it. You tap the little disk icon. It sits in between the moon button and the add screen button. And what it'll do is it'll allow you to type in an email address and it will send a picture to that email address of what you did on the screen. So let's say you want to send yourself an email of what you did or you want to send it out to your students you can put the email address in there. Now, if you want to send it out to a bunch of people, my suggestion would be to send it to yourself, then go on your computer, and then send that email out to everybody, because it might take you a while to enter everybody's email address in this way. But it's a really cool feature to share out that way. So this is the basics of the whiteboard feature. It's offered in multiple areas when you go into a Zoom meeting. So now I'm going to actually close out of this and you'll see down in the bottom left there's an actual close button and when I tap that it'll ask if you want to save or not save so I'm gonna say don't save so the really neat thing about the whiteboard feature is you can use it in multiple areas you can also use it within a zoom meeting so when you're zooming with your students or other individuals you can also take advantage of that whiteboard feature and those that are in on the zoom call will actually see it so I'm gonna start just a quick meeting right here from the board now, when I tap on the board, you're going to see this bottom panel shows. If I tap again, it disappears. Tap again, it shows. So that's the way to get rid of your little navigation here at the bottom. I will have some future videos um, that will discuss what some of these other features are. Or again, if you want to go into that monster video I have that shows all the features, it will go through all that stuff. So I'm going to tap on this, and you're going to see over on the bottom left it says whiteboard. I'm going to tap on that. Now it shows up with the whiteboard you will see up in the top right hand corner you'll actually see a video of me or whoever's on the zoom call you'll see and now I can again take advantage of the whiteboard and it will show everything that I'm doing to those that are involved with the zoom call and just like before you can do the you know switch to the night mode or the day mode you can save it and send it out to people you can add multiple screens anything you do here people will be able to see those things in the meeting I'm going to show how you can actually use the whiteboard feature when sharing your MacBook screen or your iOS device screen to here you can actually write on your screen so you could have a PowerPoint presentation or something like that and actually use these notation features the other thing also to note is it's not just one point of touch I can have all my fingers on the board so after all this past pandemic goes by you could actually have multiple kids up here working at the same time so that's kind of the really neat thing that shows off the whiteboard feature of the D10 TV. It's a very simplistic whiteboard. There's not a ton of features to it, but it's very powerful and very capable in depending what you want to use it for. I hope this video you'll find of use. And please check out my other videos on my YouTube channel. And please, please hit that like button and subscribe button below to stay up to date with my latest tutorials. And until next time, this is Adam on Tech, signing off.